So what I want to do, I want to try a, a brainstorming session with you guys. And I want to try this uh, 10 interesting ideas, but I'm not going to bring the ideas here. I want you guys to, to give me the ideas. Okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to, I'm going to take the 10 ideas from you guys, and we're going to put them up on the board, and we're going to try to weave them together a little bit later. So what I need from you guys are things that make you go, hmm, that's pretty interesting, or people, or characteristics, or traits. Anything like that that we can write on the board, and they don't have to be connected. They can be anything, any idea, current event, or anything that you're studying in school. Things like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Who wants to uh, shout out an idea? Now, we're brainstorming, so it can be anything. Oh, come on, people. <coughs> you guys got ideas. Hmm? Jealousy. Jealousy. An emotion. What else? I know there's some science fiction and fantasy uh, read, writers and readers in here. Let's get some interesting ideas. Um, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. All right, look at that. Two words already, and does that sort of, that sort of a jealous AI? Uh oh, what are we doing there? Mystery. A mystery. All right, three ideas. Time jump. A time jump. What else? Shape-shifting. Shape-shifting. Come on, anything. It could be anything. It's the first thing that comes to your mind. Just make something up. Warp drives. Warp drives. Traitors. Traitors? As in a traitor? Yeah, traitor. A tracer or a traitor? Traitors. Traitor. Tracers or traitors? Tracers. Could be the car. Ideas? What do you think? Anything. Oh, zombie apocalypse. I don't know if I can spell apocalypse, so I'm going to say a talk. A group of outcasts. How many ideas do we have so far? One more idea. A juice bar. Ten random things. We've got jealousy and emotion. We've got AI, artificial intelligence. Mystery, there's a mystery involved. Time jumps, shape shifting, warp drives, a traitor, the zombie apocalypse, a group of outcasts, and a juice bar. I'm not sure what we're writing here, but it's certainly pretty interesting. So does anybody see any connections between what we just wrote up there? So we've got a group of people who are outcasts, but they're out they're an outcast from you know, normal society maybe or some group, but they still within themselves have their own jealousy and emotions, maybe? Or maybe who they're outcast from is jealous of what they have or what they can do or what they have. Who knows? What else? What other connections do we see here? Zombie apocalypse leading to AI. Huh. Zombies leading to AI. Interesting. So maybe the virus that causes the zombie uh, zombification also causes them to form some sort of super intelligence. Maybe if enough zombies get together in a group, they form a super intelligence. They may have a quantum waveform forms from their zombie head, and suddenly they become smarter. Wouldn't that be interesting? Zombies who by themselves are killers, but when you get them together, maybe they become smarter, smarter than humans. What other possibilities do we see here? A group that has sex. A great, there you go. They turn into to, to kittens, maybe? <laughs> or 
they turn into zombies. Right? What if instead of turning into a werewolf, you could turn into a zombie? Nobody wants to be a zombie, but if you turn into a, if you have a group of people who turn into a zombie, suddenly you're smarter. You can all think together. All right, what else we got? I don't know how we're gonna work the juice bar in here. The mystery of Allah, right here. Uh huh. So someone has betrayed the group. Who has betrayed the group? Still waiting to get time jumps, warp drives, and juice bars into this. They hang out at the juice bar. Um, which is where the warp drive is located. Uh, I think you're stretching there. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have a warp drive at the, ju at the juice bar? They just hide it there. They, they're, they're building a warp drive at the juice bar? Yeah, it's a conspicuous one. Okay. <laughs> All right, we've got time jumps. How are we going to work that in there? Um, There's a mystery of time jumps. Time jumps are happening, something's happening. Time jumps in AI. Artificial intelligence is creating the zombie artificial intelligence is creating the technology to have time jumps to go back and solve the zombie apocalypse before it happens. The group of outcasts time jump to the they use the warp drives at the juice bar to uh, time jump to the zombie apocalypse. To prevent it. So they're jumping to the zombie apocalypse using from the from the juice bar. Alright, so those are pretty ten pretty weird ideas. They don't seem particularly linked together when we came up with them, did they? But just thinking about them and throwing them up there and saying, well, how could these things be related? Suddenly things start to coalesce. I don't know if we've got a zombie AI story here, or we've got a time traveling story here, or we have a, just a group of outcasts hanging out at the juice bar. Mm -hmm. But suddenly there's more here than when we throw the, threw those things up on the, on the board, isn't there? The, the uh, passion that you have about that particular concept. And that's an important thing about bringing fiction so, uh, talking earlier about where ideas come from and reading nonfiction, so uh, there's a number of things that I do every morning, every day to keep the ideas coming. Uh, one thing that I, I really like to do is uh, look at the astronomy picture of the day. I'm a science fiction writer. I love to look at the astronomy picture of the day. Anybody else ever look at the astronomy picture of the day? So there's a new picture every day, and they put a paragraph at the bottom of the picture, and that paragraph is full of science fiction ideas. Uh, are these laptops internet enabled? Yes. So if you go to the astronomy, I think go to Google and search for the astronomy picture of the day. When I search through the web, look for things, read Wikipedia, whatever. I have a folder in my browser called Story Ideas. That's very original, isn't it? Story Ideas. If it strikes my interest, I save it. Just like Tim Powers, when he finds 10 ideas, puts them all together, tries to find connections. Same thing, is what, is, is, is the exact same habit, something that you should build. The things that strike your fancy, that drive your passion, that excite you are things that you should document and keep track of. There may not be a story about it right now, but there may be a story in the future. You're thinking, you're sitting at the typewriter, sitting at the typewriter, sitting at the laptop, you're thinking, something, I need something to write about. Well, let me go back to that, that link I saved, the, the picture of, of uh, the Orion Nebula. Where, where are, the, uh, where are my, my uh, band of outcasts going? If they're going out here 140, 150 light years away to some planet in this, uh, in this area. Maybe they're, they're um, exploring this area while they build their warp drive. And suddenly, with this picture, you have details and information that can go into your story, that can feed the story. You haven't been there. No one has been there. Well, 
But now you have the picture to draw upon to, to, to infuse the idea with, with uh, real details. Some of the things that are in my, uh, I, I looked in my uh, story idea folder, uh, and uh, one of the things is, that was in there uh, was a uh, Indian tribe in California that has a counting system of eight. So we have a counting, most people have a counting system of 10 because we have what? Now why do you think they have a counting system of eight? They also use their fingers. They don't have the thumbs. No, good idea. They don't have the fingers. No, good, good idea. No, <laughs> good idea. Look at that. These are great ideas. They count the spaces between the fingers instead of the fingers themselves. Uh, Boom, mind blown. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems perfectly practical if you grew up with it, right? And that idea that this human race with 10 fingers, a whole tribe have decided to use base eight octal as opposed to decimal because they count the spaces instead of the actual. I don't know how that's going to work into a story, but I think that's a great idea. Do you guys think that's a great idea? I think it's a good idea. So I have a bunch of those. 